Hey there Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding. I am Aditya Mishra and in this video, we'll start with the 16th September 2024 online assessment coding problems that were asked by Capgemini in their on-campus placement drive for 2025 patch. And these problems are totally unexpected because few of the feedbacks that I got from the candidate is Capgemini is asking some hard problems. but somehow I end up having few problems that will motivate you and motivate you to prepare uh, for Capgemini placement as well because our questions are pretty different. So in this video, we'll discuss those problems. Moving forward with the first problem, which is you are given an array of integers where each integer represent the taste level of candy candies. Okay, your task is to find difference between the candies with the highest taste level and the candies with the lowest taste level. Now the question can arise to you is, Aita, how you find those problems which are us? You can join our Telegram group where we have 20,000 billion minds who joined our Telegram group and continuously sharing their interview experience. So I will highly recommend you to join a Telegram group, communicate with your peers so that you can get an intuition how the company is going on in their colleges. Okay, so yeah, for example, if the array contains 3, 4, 1, 10, 8, the least Tasty candy has taste level of 1 and the tastiest candy has a taste level of 10. The result should be the difference between the two values which is 10 minus 1 and you will end up having 9. I hope the question is pretty clear and from the question I can think that Capgemini do focus on the question quality okay because the explanation pretty states everything that you need to write in the code as well. So the first line contains an integer which is n in the size array the second line contains n integer representing the taste level of the candies so output output the difference between the highest and the lowest rate levels okay so you got the array as 3 4 1 10 8 so 3 4 1 10 8 is the given taste or rate levels is it so this is an array a which has n elements into it great so what approach you can uh, use here so you can use multiple approaches such as if you want to sort this array if you sort this array what thing you will get you will get it as 1 3 4 8 10 isn't so now to find the minimum value and the maximum value what you need to do is you need to fetch the element which is present in the very last in the very first index first is it so first index would be one which would be minimum element and for maximum element I know that my array is sorted so last element which is a of n minus 1 will end up giving you the maximum element which is present in this array which will be 10 and the last you just need to return min or max minus min so this would be your answer now what would be the other approach why what is the need of other approach Aditya because this approach takes you n log n time Aditya so this uh, time complexity code will not work on that compiler. It will work. It will definitely work. But be prepared for the worst case scenario. It might be they can ask you some easy problems, but the constraint will be high. Then if the constraint is high, you need to write the optimal program. So for the optimal program, what you can do is L log n is pretty high time complexity. Is it as compared to O of n? So we'll write then O of n solution. Okay, for in O of n solution, how you can do is if you know C++ uh, STLs, which will provide you min element support, is it? And the max element support, if you remember, you just need to call maximum element, asterisk maximum element in begin to end, you will end up having the maximum element which is present in the particular vector, is it? But the thing is, if you don't have or you don't know about this STLs, then what you can do? You can create a function which will return you the max of the element or another function which will return you the min present in the element. I hope it is very clear. You just need to create a maximum variable initialize with minus one or something else that you want to. Then for create an index iteration pointer which will iterate throughout the uh, array elements which is present in the range of n. Okay. Then if any time you find that the particular array num array that you are pointing on is greater than the max that you currently stored, please reinitialize your max so that your max always have the highest element possible in the array or possible whatever we saw till now. 
is it so array of i and just return the max and you will end up having the max after the execution of this function similarly the same logic will be applied here in the instead of minimum you need to put the maximum symbol or for the maximum you need to put the minimum symbol vice versa and in the minimum you need to uh, like you need to initialize for the finding the minimum event you need to initialize some a big possible value which will be int max in, the, in this case or either you can use int min in this particular case as well so without wasting time let's discuss the code snippet Python, no, Python is not allowed in the Camp Gemini online assessment, whatever going on currently, because we got n number of feedback from the student that, sir, Python is not there. We can only have option to write the program either in C++ or Java. So why we're discussing the Python code? Because the people who are well with Python, so this is the particular code that you can think of, but you need to write in the different language. So if you are in Python currently, please stop doing Python and go on C++ or Java, whatever you like. So we'll discuss the in-depth details of a C++ code here. Okay, the thing that I got it from the 24 batch candidates who appear for Camp Gemini and got placed there, you can use, you can use bits stdc++.h library. You can use any STS that you want to to solve that particular problem okay so int find taste difference const this would be the thing where you're passing up the array but before going to the passing functions uh taking the n input okay then uh, creating the array of n then there is a for loop also which will take the values now count calling up the function to fetch out the difference between the minimum and the maximum element present or the maximum and minimum so you can see max element Array dot begin, array dot end will end up giving you the max element present in the array. Similarly, apply to the minimum, which will return you the minimum element present in the array. And in the last, what you can do, you can just return the difference among them, and you will able to solve this problem in a very optimal manner. As you can see, this to find the maximum present in the array will take only O of n time. Similarly, it will take O of n time. So you will end up having the time complexity as O of n, which is more efficient than a login solution. I hope you got the intuition. If you talk about the Java code as well, similarly took the scanner, initialize the scanner class, then took the input of array size element, then i to to zero, i to till n, put every uh, element into my array, pass it to the function, and the function will return you the max and min. If you don't remember this, like stream uh, stream array dot max dot get index so you can directly write a function that i illustrated just a simple three lines or four lines of code is more than sufficient similarly paste that particular function again and just rechange their signs and you will end up having the minimum values as well so max minus win will return you the answer of this problem i hope you got this but before going to the next problem shandeep shubham adesh varun and Mukesh and next can be the you. You just need to head on to the www.timecoding.in and have one to one mock tests with us because n number of students crack interview. So you can be the next because in the whole mock session, I will let you know about your uh, technical session and HR manager round. It will be of one hour of comprehensive session where we'll assess your technical core, then everything resume based problems and much more. In HR and manager role as well, we'll test your behavior, HR problems, manager problems, and a lot types of problem. We'll typically take session for one hour. In that, after the your full session, we'll give you the resume review, what are stuff that you need to improve, then the personalized feedback, what are stuff that you need to improve in your uh, mock session, where what is your weak point, what is your strength zone, how you can communicate well, how to represent this answer, this representation is wrong. Everything I will let you, and a suggestion for future improvement would be the roadmap, mentorship, guidance, doubt solving, and much more. For that, just check out the www.primecoding.in and create your interview opportunity to the offer letter and make your parents proud. You are given an array of integer, which each integer represent the sweetness level of ingredient for baking a cake. Okay, you need to select any two ingredients from the array such that their combined sweetness by applying two selected values is maximized. Your task is to return this maximum sweetness value. So if you solved my Camp Gemini sheet, you will not take a single minute to think about this problem and definitely you can solve it because the similar pattern, similar pattern will be used in this particular question. And what pattern it would be? It would be the thing I will let you know afterwards. So input, the first line contains the n and the size of the array. The second line contains the n integer representing the sweetness level of the ingredients. Output the maximum sweetness level which is a product of two largest value in the array. 
okay so the input would be 5 1 5 2 5 3 and the output is 25 how because how you can get the maximum sweetness value if you choose the two maximum value which is present in your array don't you think how i will tell you okay so one two uh, uh three five five if you sort your array like this you will end up having two element which is maximum and if you do the multiplication of both element you will end up having 25 which will be the greatest uh, multiplication you can form in this particular array okay then only you will end up having the maximum sweetness value which is asked by the question so how you can do that again it is a pretty easy problem what you can do is either you can use the sort function okay i will show you how you can do that so one three five two five is a test case let's say test case where a array values is this what you can do either you can use a sorting algorithm to sort this array find the last two elements and multiply it just return it so that would be the solution of this problem but it will take again how much yes and log it so let me know in the favorite language that you write to code let it be c plus plus java or python what underlying algorithm is used behind the sorting function that you are using dot sort or sort of array not end or in java as well let me know what is the underlying sorting algorithm used by the sorting inbuilt functions okay so if you use this you can end up having the answer like one two three five five and in the last you can fetch n minus one element or n minus two element and return the multiplication of that and the answer is pretty solved is it so this is a few lines of code that you can write but there is a case your code may stop running there on their compiler because the time complexity is very low in this case so to ace the time complexity issue you need to write the o of n solution which is a single pass solution single pass means you should use only a for loop to solve your problem okay i hope you got the intuition behind the single pass i will let you know how you can do that now if if any time you solve to find the second largest and largest element in the array what is the logic behind finding the second largest and largest element present in the array it would be it would be like i will take a dry run quickly so it is one three five two five now here the question it's also asking you to find the second largest and the largest element possible in this array is it so i will create a second largest element and the largest element as well I will put and I will take count of every time. Okay, one. So till now we have some infinite minimum value, infinite minimum value here. So one is less than the largest, is it? Because greater than the largest because largest has a minimum value, is it? So it will be replaced by one here. Okay, and second largest is still minimum. So now you got three. So three is greater than one, is it? So now three will replace before replacing. Okay, that would be the mistake that I was going to do. But before replacing, as you found that yes three is greater than one so before reinitializing your largest please reinitialize your second first so that the current largest value would be stored by the second so that after initializing it let's say i initialize to this now my the previous largest value is gone to the second largest value which itself means the second largest till now whatever we saw in this array is one and the largest is three i hope you got it now what i do next here is I will come up here now five is again greater than largest three is it five is greater than three so what I will do I will again reinitialize my second largest to the current largest element then I will initially initialize my largest element then I will end up having five okay now two so two is greater than five no so we will not do anything here so five five is greater than five no but I will write a second test case as well if my second largest like elif case okay this is an elif case that i am telling you if my second largest is less than the given a of i then then i need to reinitialize my second largest again which would be five so now after whole iteration of your for loop you will end up having two largest value possible in the array which is first largest and the second largest you can just you should or you just need to return the 5 into 5 in the last which is largest and the second largest in the last a multiplication of this will solve this problem in a very optimal manner i hope you got it so if you see this code snippet which is in python which is of no use there but what i need to show you is this because the logic behind finding the get second largest is if you have one three 
5. Okay, so this is the case. So in this particular concept, what would be the first largest and second largest? If I write first largest and second largest, the so second largest present in this array is 3 and the first largest is present in this array is 5. But here I need to find the second largest and it is not a compulsion that the second largest should always less than the largest. It may be the same or it may be the less. But if there is any element which is equivalent to the largest, then the second largest should also fetch that element. It's not an issue. But this case is preventing us to create a duplicacy of second largest and largest element. Okay. So you just need to remove this condition or your code will start working for this particular section. Okay. As a Python code is not valid because it is not allowed. So we'll discuss the C++ code. So now in C++ code, you just need to do bits stuff. Don't need to write a hole there or it's totally depend upon you. As you can see, created a main function where int n c in n and vector of array i equal to zero i is less than i plus plus. Then which, uh, filling all the elements into my array then max sweetness of array will be called now every element or every sweetness would be traversed in this array now anytime i found that my sweetness is greater than first max i will just firstly i will make sure that the current value which is stored by my first max will be stored in the second max then only i will reinitialize my first max which will help me to preserve my second largest element as a second uh, second max okay Elif. Sweetness is greater than second max. So second max is equivalent to sweetness. This case will take care of duplicacy because if sweetness is 5 and my first largest value is 5, this if condition won't run. But this elif condition will fetch this because till now if you see this example that we saw in this case, the second the second max would be 2 or 3 here. But the sweetness currently that we are dealing with 5. So 5 is still greater than 3. So it will help me to store a duplicate value as 5. And we are end up returning 5 into 5, which will be equal to 25. I hope, I hope you got this. And if you discuss the time complexity as of this program, what would it be? We are using only one loop traversing throughout the array. The time complexity would be O of n and the space would be 1 because I'm not using any extra or auxiliary space to solve this problem. I hope you got the intuition. If you see the Java snippet as well, pretty similar as compared to the C++ program. Sweetness is greater than first max. Second max is first max and first max is sweetness. And to take care of your duplicacy, I, I wrote this. But if you, want, if you don't want to... Uh, consider a duplicacy, you can just write the second largest element or the current sweetness should always less than the first back that we stored. Okay, and the last just return it, you will end up having your answer in the print statement and you are done with this program. Okay, so if you want to prepare for your TCS NQT, whole playlist has been created filled with n number of solutions. There are n number of TCS playlists present on the channel. If you want to prepare for Accenture, filled with recent question asks, full mock test, pseudo codes, cheat sheets and stuff, which will help you to crack Accenture opportunity. Cognizant Capgemini TCS coding sheet videos is also live and the link of that coding sheet will be provided in the description. Just you need to join the telegram group. Okay, in that group, there's a Rosebot will welcome you with a drive link. Okay, so you just need to click on that drive link. You will find the company name folders. Just click on it. You will find the respective notes that you're looking for. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. If you're watching till now, do consider subscribing this channel. Like this video if you have not. And please, please, please share with your friends so that your friend can also crack the wonderful opportunity that is visiting to your campus. We'll meet you with a new video soon.